Interpolation is the process of adding samples rather than removing them. And again, a good example to think about is an image where you've got a, a photograph, for example, and this might be one row of the pixels, uh, and this is the intensity of those pixels, uh, and you would like to make the picture twice as big on the computer screen, for example. So one way to do that is you first of all, you're essentially doing the opposite of decimation. So you first of all add zeros in between all of your samples, uh, and then once you've added those zeros, you need to then interpolate between these points and to uh, put a signal where these zeros are by interpolation. And as we've seen, there's many ways to do interpolation. You could uh, do an average across these two, a straight line, and, and put those values into that, into there. Uh, to do straight line fit between points, that's one way. Uh, you could do a sample and hold, so you could hold all of these the same and then jump and then have all of these the same and then jump and have all of these the same. Um, and these are different implementation aspects of these, are harder or easier to implement. Or in the ideal case, you would like to do an ideal low pass filter. And so you put it into, put this signal into an ideal low pass filter. And what does the ideal low pass filter do? Let's look in the frequency domain. So let's assume this was the frequency response, so the, the Fourier transform of our original signal. And then as we've seen, uh, when you do uh, the, op we're doing the opposite of decimation. So adding the zeros in will make, uh, will compress in the frequency domain. So this is uh, spread out here. When we add those zeros in, we compresses and we compress by a ratio that is uh, given by capital N here, because there's the number of zeros that you have added. So that then gives this waveform here, this is your Fourier transform of your interpolated or zeros added signal. And now to get a smoothed signal, we in the frequency domain would like to multiply by this square function here. It repeats up here of course because in discrete time the basis functions repeat at 2 pi. So we would like to keep only this copy around the zero frequency and to get rid of all these other copies. And then we would have achieved the ideal low pass filtering so we've only got the exact signal that we want. And so to do that we multiply in the frequency domain which means we convolve in the time domain. So we convolve with a filter that has an impulse response where the Fourier transform is this ideal square because it ideally keeps all of these low pass and sets all of these others to zero. Multiplying in the time domain and convolving. Multiplying in the frequency domain and convolving in the time domain.